Hey guys, Lauren here again with Breaking Browder Farm. Today we're doing something a little bit different and we are redoing countertops, a do-it-yourself marble countertop. So stay tuned. Little disclaimer here, we are replacing floors and doing other things in the background as well as have three kids running around. Well, that's six. Three kids running around. So. You might hear some yelling, screaming, crying in the background. Who knows? I guess you'll see. First step, Brillo pad. Wipe them down real good. Make sure that they're soft and smooth. I've done that behind me. Now we'll do it here. Okay, so we've taped off where the backsplash here meets this backsplash. We're gonna, we've got something else planned for that. Taped off underneath the counters, the tops of the drawers, tops of appliances, backs of the sink and the sprayers. Hey Patty, I see you resting out there. So this is what comes in the kit, your top coat, you put it on, wait for four hours. You've got 2A, which is your gray marble, your 2B, which is your white, and then your top coat. It also comes with a sponge to edge in, a paintbrush, two rollers, a bottle, and a sponge, but we use the sponge on the fireplace. Uh, oh. I was like, Lord, may have got it, but never mind. That's fine. Don't turn that sink on. Actually, take this off so they don't get paint on it. Turn the sink on. Oh, okay. You got yourself. Hey! Edge in. Edge in. And then you roll. Do two foot sections at a time. So that way, it's even. Now you can see how it's Do two foot sections at a time. So that way, it doesn't dry streaky. Keep kind of rolling over it, getting it nice and smooth. So we're done with our first coat here. It will look streaky. Let it dry for four hours. Nothing touching it, nothing on it. We're also working on floor from here. It has been four hours. We're nice and dry. Um, if you have any spots that are thicker, you can take some sandpaper, really, really fine sandpaper, and sand down those humps, um, just in case you didn't really pat it really well. I'm not feeling anything here. Maybe a few spots, but nothing too crazy. Day two. So it's been overnight. These counters have dried. There are a few little bumps on it. I got some 150 grit sandpaper. Apparently it's how you do cars according to my loony bin. That's right. Um, so we'll sand them down and then we'll get to doing the lines. All right, part two. I've got two A, the gray and my paintbrush and my brush so I can put it in and my water. We're just going off of what they did on this other video that I watched. So, this really makes me nervous. All right, first line. I said do it in one foot section, so I'm gonna go a little bit short. One foot section. Spray it, and that's just water. You can push it out. And push it out. Okay, 
push it out this way. Whichever way my hand yep, goes. You're the oh. oh, not that way. <laughs> oh gosh. That added some dimension. I've got my brush here. My spray bottle is over there. But you spray it and you feather it in, you feather it out, you add some different lines. You do go ahead and do all the cabinets and countertops first, and then you'll bring it up to your backsplash. You want to add it in the direction that it's going on the top, and then the same with the bottom. And I've added a couple of ghost lines in here. If you don't like one of your lines, you can spray it and wipe it off with a paper towel. Also take your brush and keep a paper towel in your hand to keep any excess moisture off. That helps with the lines as well. Backing it up. Back it up. Gotta get up close and personal so I can finish out these bottoms. No, this no, is why no, no, no. the bottoms last. So you don't rub up against them while you're doing the back. So it's been an hour. We're dry. Uh, we're living a little dangerous here, but it's time for the top coat. I think it looks pretty good. If you didn't know it was fake and you were just to come and look at the house and the new floors, the guys have done looks good. I don't know if you could tell that it was hand painted. Hey, you missed your armholes. Yep, you wearing a tube top? <laughs> Going through the terrible twos right now. Has to do it himself. Oh, you asked for help. Okay. One thing I did not mention while filming the video and um, telling you how to apply it is how to take care of it when it's done. So add your top coats, add as many as you'd like, as much as you have left over. Leave that for two hours, then remove the tape. After you remove the tape, do not set anything, not a single object on it for seven days. Then after the seven days, you can set a cup on it or a phone or something light. After 14 days, you can then add something heavy, like a microwave or a utensil tray that has all your utensils in it, um, or something heavier. So 14 day total cure time uh, to add something heavy on it. That is very important. Make sure you have that locked up here whenever you go to paint. This was definitely a weekend project we should have started on Friday night by doing the cleaning with the Brillo pad and the prep with the tape work and maybe our first top coat of primer um, that is why I don't have the finished look for you without the tape uh, because honestly I was just ready to go home and we had enough top coat left over that Ashley wanted to do another two or three top coats um, Ashley and Patty, my brother and sister-in-law, just bought a house, so we are helping them redo it as much as we can. Um, I personally think the countertops look great uh, without the tape being off, and they will look great when they are finished um, with her extra top coats. I don't blame her for wanting to do the extra top coats. I would do it myself if I had it left over. Just because with two boys, uh, you never know what's could happen to anything in your house really um, so if you like this make sure you drop the comment below we could add some more DIY stuff um, for houses to our channel as well um, like comment share subscribe all that fun stuff and we'll see you next video thanks bye